What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. As always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, um, typically, most of us YouTubers that have been here for a long time, we are almost like a corporation, okay? Well, no, actually, it's not really a corporation. I guess it's a sole proprietorship because you are everything. You're the cameraman, you are the lighting guy, director, you are the um, research department, you're the talent, or lack thereof, um, in there. You're the editor. You are the everything, you know? You've got so many um, people that are coming to YouTube, it's almost like the gold rush, you know, where everybody is going through because YouTube, it's wide open here. It's the brand new thing that everybody is going through. It doesn't matter what you used to do before. If you were a radio host, if you were an ESPN host or, or Fox Sports One, they're all going to YouTube now. It's the wild, wild west and stuff. So, you know, we're under, I guess, a little bit of a disadvantage because we don't have, you know, 40 people that are working for us in there and things. But then again, I guess we don't have 40 people to support here. Be that as it may, um, oh, my goodness. My goodness. I saw something today. I didn't actually see or hear the whole conversation about it. But we're back around to Derek Carr. Now let me give a little bit of background here. Colin Cowherd, who of course has always had this thing against Dak Prescott. When it was time for Dak Prescott to get paid last time, he said the Cowboys should tell Dak Prescott to take a walk, trade, now let me say this again, trade for Derek Carr and make him your quarterback. Now, I want to say the last time Derek Carr, or the only time Derek Carr, there's no disrespect to Derek Carr, the last time he was over 30 times, 30 TD passes in a season was 2015. It was 32. So 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 22, 23, 24. So that's nine years removed. Nine years removed with this season. And seeing the headlines of the Cowboys move on from that and the Cowboys move to Derek Carr. So, mind you, we always talk about Dak Prescott's playoff record, and they say he's 2-5 and five because, you know, he lost to Aaron Rodgers that first game that he threw 304 yards and three TDs. He was the reason they lost that. Even though the defense had just held Aaron Rodgers for 50 seconds, then we win that game. But that's okay. Or maybe if they had stopped the Rams, Jared Goff, for running for nine yards, to get the first down, maybe they get that ball back and have a chance. Or maybe if Randy Gregory doesn't tackle an offensive lineman getting a 15-yard personal foul and giving them a first down, that maybe we would have had a little more time on the clock and when Dak actually ran and slid and we ran out of clock, that maybe we would have more time and less field to go. But be that as it may, it's all just Dak Prescott's fault. Um, Derek Carr. In his career, his longer career here, that we say, let's go get that guy. To me, that's more of, that might even be worse than Andy Dalton. We said Andy Dalton, there's no drop off from Andy Dalton to Dak Prescott. He's been in the playoffs four times. No win. No wins. His first four years, no wins. Derek Carr came and say that. He's only made the playoffs once. Now, if your whole thing is, it's just the quarterback, that the great quarterback will elevate. Well, you know, in 2022, 
his last year with the Raiders. Now, let me be clear here. Anybody who makes it to that level is really good. To get to that level is damn near impossible. Be that as may, not all the guys that make it are really that good. So, the Cowboys typically, typically have been trying to do more with less. In 2022, Derek Carr's last year with the Raiders, he had Josh Jacobs, who rushed for over 1,600 yards. Let me say that again. He had Josh Jacobs rush for over 1,600 yards. They traded for Devontae Adams, who arguably, at that time, was definitely the best wide receiver in football. They had Hunter, what? Hunter, what? Hunter Renfro also on there. Um, they had tight end Darren Waller. Have you ever seen the Cowboys with that much firepower, that many players, 1,600 yard running back. Devontae Adams, a nightmare. Hunter Renfro, and a tight end, Darren Waller, who was a beast. With all of that, with all of that, that season, his last with the Raiders, they ended up six and 10. He had 24 TDs and 14 interceptions. Now, of course, he's been the last two years with the Raiders. And um, have left them wanting, let's say that. Yes. You will save money. You will save money by getting a Derek Carr. That's that's no lie. You know, right now, Derek Carr, who was once the highest paid quarterback in the NFL, mind you, you'll save money getting him. But do you honestly believe that the Cowboys will be a better team with him instead of Dak? Even if they save themselves $25 million. Do you think the drop off at quarterback is going to be made up by that $25 million? I don't think so. Especially when you think about all of the players that he had and still only ended up with 24 TDs and 14 interceptions for the full season. But hey, what do I know? I'm just an idiot who's here on YouTube, a sole proprietorship. I can't wait till the season gets here. We've got less than a month until training camp. And I believe 72 days by the clock over there. 72 days is all we have left before the kickoff of the season. And boy, do we need it bad. Um, I've got to get out of here early in the morning because I've got to do a repair job before Thursday. And it's about an hour and a half away. But I also have to be back in time for the Dan Salio show. So I'm going to be up early and out early. So I'll probably be doing my fireside, excuse me, my morning video on the road tomorrow. So we you looking out for that on the road. And um, my wife, Miss Green Thumb, Green Thumbs, the master of plants, is over here, putting more and more plants up, and getting me to put grow lights in the bookcases. Remember, good people. Oh, actually, I got to say this before I get out of here. When I woke up this morning, and before I got out of bed, I had some really fresh thoughts running through my head. Um, 
run deep six. That's actually not what happened. But I was wide awake, and I was looking on Facebook, and there is a community page from down here. And I happened to see this post that was on there. And it was a post that a woman was asking about information about C.D. Arnold. There's a picture of C.D. Arnold. See, the Red Brick House at one point was also known as the Arnold House because the Arnold family owned the house. And Mary Arnold, I know, is it Mary Arnold? I think it's Mary Arnold. Mary Arnold, the house was given to her by her father in the will. In fact, I think I have a copy of the will actually here. And so the post this woman found out that she was related to the Arnold family, uh, talking to her mother. And her mother had a picture of the newspaper obituary about C.D. Arnold, her ancestor, who had passed away. Also posted by it was a picture of the Red Brick House. And I was like, honey, I said, somebody posted about the Red Brick House. They got new, and it's like, she said her mother has these two newspaper clippings. And I'm looking, and I was like, okay, well, it's an old picture of C.D. Arnold, and that's kind of cool. And then I looked closer at the picture of the newspaper clipping of the Red Brick House, <laughs> and it was me on the cover. So I was like, oh, because it was the article about the Arnold House being saved. And so it's kind of cool that her 82-year-old mother has a newspaper clipping about her ancestor who passed away, who lived here, and the house was named after, and he got a picture of me there. And that's where you realize how this house has touched so many people and has been such a part of the community and so many different families and everything else. And it's just, I'm in awe, and I'm humbled by it. And so, my wife's over here laughing at me. Why are you laughing at me? You're laughing at me. I just think it's kind of cool that people are actually happy about something. You know, I'm reading all the comments that are in here, and people are saying, oh, the place looks so great. Every time I go to Walmart, I look at it and comment and talk about it and things. Or people say they ride by it. And it's just, it's a great feeling. And these days, you don't get a lot of great feelings anymore, and I'm happy that doing this house has made people happy. So, this is my Zen spot. And um, the air quality should be fantastic in here with all of the plants that are filthy, that are filthy filtering the air. Yeah. So remember, good people, tell the people, as well as all the plants, how much you love them. Because you might not get the chance again. I love you guys, and uh, God willing, we'll all be around here tomorrow. Peace out.